Hi, my name is Max. Today I'm going to show you how to use an enricher. Enricher is a web-based gene list enrichment analysis tool that has a large collection of gene set libraries, an alternative way to rank enriched terms and various types of interactive visualizations. Under the Libraries tab, we provide a list of gene set libraries we have created and collected. These libraries are available for download for use and analysis. You also can trace back the original sources of these libraries. To download the library, just press the red icon on the rightmost column. To find knowledge about the gene of interest from information stored within these gene set libraries, you can use the find gene function in Enricher. Input the name of the gene using entries gene symbols or select the gene from autocomplete list. Then your gene of interest will be shown in different categories as a tree view. Expanding the tree branches, you can view the relationships between the genes and its functional terms across many of the biological categories in Enricher. Enricher allows three options for data input to its main function, enrichment analysis. You can input a regular gene list, a quantitative gene set or a bat file with which is a text file generated from a typical ChIP-seq processing pipeline. To process your bat file data, select Choose File and Upload your file. For the other two ways of input, you can cut and paste your list or upload a file. In richer upload file function will recognize whether you uploaded the bat file, a regular gene list or quantitative set. In the text area, your input file, you can pass to regular or, or quantitative gene sets. Quantitative gene sets have weights for each gene in range from 0 to 1, where uh, a weight of 0 means that the gene is not a member of the set and 1 means maximum weight, maximum membership level. This allows a more refined analysis that takes into account the weights and ranks of genes from the input list. The regular list of genes input options simply takes the gene names in each row. Enricher has examples for each input type so you can mimic the formats for your data. If you check the contribute checkbox at the bottom left corner of the input form, your list will become searchable by others and will be added to the crowdsourcing gene sets. If you decided to contribute your list, you will be asked to enter a brief description of it and decide whether you are okay with people contacting you by email about your gene set. Once you've submitted your input, you will be presented with the following screen. It provides results for each category. Transcription, pathways, ontologies, diseases and drugs, cell types, miscellaneous, legacy, and crowd. Each category contains a set of gene set libraries. Start clicking on library names to see the enrichment results for each library. If you click on the sheet-shaped icon on the top right corner, you can view your input gene list that you are submitted. This is the most useful uploading an embed file. Here what happens when clicking on the gene list icon. If you click on the share icon on the top right corner, you will be provided with a permanent link to the enrichment analysis results. You can use this link to return back to view your results or you can share the results pages with your colleagues or use it as a reference in the publications. As I mentioned, gene set libraries in Enricher are divided into several categories and here we are looking at these gene set libraries under the transcription categories. In general, lists or signatures from gene expression data would benefit from the analysis provided here. The analysis will identify potential upstream regulators such as transcription factors. Here are the libraries under the pathway category. Data from proteomics experiments as well as genomics can benefit from analysis using the, this category which can be used to place list of genes in proteins, in pathways and complexes. Libraries in the legacy category have a dated version but are kept in enricher for sake of prominence. We keep them so user can repeat their results even after a library was updated. The gene set libraries from the crowdsourcing category were created with the help of students from the network analysis and system biology course. We hope to add new libraries here with your contributions. Let's return to analysis results. After clicking the gene set library name, for example, here I click Chia, which is a gene set library we created by collecting gene sets from the published chip 6 studies as putative targets of transcription factors. 
You are presented with a bar chart. Bar represents the terms in the library and are sorted by a combined score in descending order. The brighter and longer the bar, the more enriched the term is with your input gene set. Here the term is transcription factor profiled in a paper with PubMed ID in the cell type in this organism. So putative targets of the transcription factor E2F1 are most enriched with this input gene list for this gene set library. The combined score is our alternative score for ranking enriched terms. In the paper that describes enricher, we show that this method is better for prioritizing terms when compared with the Fisher test. You can read more about this method in enricher paper published in Biomass Central Bioinformatics in 2013. And you can sort bar graph by different scoring method by clicking on it. Click the bars again and you'll see them sorted by p-value which is computed using Fisher exact test. And once again, now the bars are sorted by their rank based scores. This is the z-score computed by assessing the deviation from the expected rank. If you click on the cock shaped icon on the top right corner you can change the color of the bar graph. It also works for network and grid visualization which I will demonstrate in a moment. Here I change the bar graph to blue. The table view option of the enrichment results gives an explicit view of p-values, z-scores and combined scores. You can sort terms in ascending on descending order by clicking on a header of column. Filter the results by a specific term using the search box or download the entire table into Excel. Hovering over the terms in the table displays the overlapping genes between the input and genes that are belong to a term. The download hyperlink provides you the entire result table in tab delimited format by clicking the link export entries to table. The table also has overlapping genes in an additional column. In grid, in grid view all terms from a gene set library are represented by squares on a canvas. The terms on the canvas are organized based on the term gene content similarity, where an area of high similarity is made brighter. The grid can be clicked to set view where the enriched terms are highlighted with circles colored from bright white to gray, based on the p-values. You can export these images and use them for publications and presentations. That score and p-value next to the canvases quantify how close the enriched terms are on the canvas compared to what you would expect by a chance. This was done as an attempt to see if enriched terms are clustered and the overlapping genes share terms. So that score and p-value show how dense or clustered the top 10 most enrichment terms are on the grid. In the network view, the top 10 terms are displayed as a network where the nodes represent the enriched terms and the links represent the gene content similarity among the enriched terms. Enrich provides the ability for users to have an account, although this is not a requirement. The benefits of having an account is that you can have a private collection of input gene sets, so you don't have to keep uploading your gene sets over and over. Logging in and clicking on the username on the top right corner gives you a view of your previously uploaded gene sets. You can filter the results for a particular gene sets by searching them. Clicking on the set name will return you to analysis results for that input list. If you have questions and suggestions, we provided detailed tutorial and frequently asked questions under Enricher's help tab. You can also use the feedback form to ask questions and give a suggestion. I hope you enjoy using Enricher and find it helpful for your research.